Georgetown's Graduate School of Business, or GSB, is the premier choice for MBA and leadership education in Africa and the Middle East. Rated year after year as the top business school in the region by its global peers, the school is one of just a few globally with triple accreditation. With a strong research culture and emerging market focus, the richness of the GSB is captured in its philosophy of full-color thinking. What is missing in business schools is that we often have one view, one focus, one entry point. Whereas if you really want to understand difficult markets, you have an interest to have multiple views, different colors, different shades. I thought it was a nice play of words in a country where you have a lot of black and white and a whole black and white history. I thought that that full color thinking idea, going beyond what you know in this particular country, but going beyond the classical ways of understanding business, that is really what it refers to. The GSB takes a three-pronged approach to management and leadership development. Firstly, it drives new teaching and research to explore innovative solutions to African challenges. Leading the way in this regard is the Bertha Center for Social Innovation and Entrepreneurship, a catalyst for social impact and dialogue. And that includes a set of policy work we do with governments, um, it includes some research into fields like impact investing um, and it includes obviously a whole set of teaching. Our approach to social innovation is looking at uh, a transformative paradigm rather than just a corrective paradigm. So a corrective paradigm in the housing challenge in South Africa would be many people need houses, let's build houses, the government must build houses. And the South African government has built more houses than any other country in the world since democracy. Um, but uh, the waiting list for houses is longer than when we started. So, a transformative paradigm might say, well, how do we actually start to look at the underlying roots and, uh, and the system challenges around housing to say, well, is it about title deed? Is it about providing utilities? Is it about providing finance for housing? And starting to think about more innovatively about the challenges we face. The GSB has teamed up with its neighbor, the v &A Waterfront, to create Workshop 17, an innovation hub to invent and test solutions to boost economic, social, and environmental advancement in Africa. The project has been called the Big Shed with the Big Vision, and big things are expected of it. We need new institutions, we need new societal enterprises where business and government are not really effective in serving needs. So it's about developing what I call an unbounded organizing strategy for solving societal issues. The school works directly with entrepreneurs and investors at all levels. Key initiatives include the Raymond Ackerman Academy for Entrepreneurial Development and a free-for-all online learning platform to empower African entrepreneurs across the continent. Innovation is a vital engine of change, but ethics and values drive sustainable business. The GSB has a set of values that permeates its activities and the Alan Gray Center for Values-Based Leadership promotes scholarship in this regard. We are a values-based school. That means that we think that a business school doesn't need to be only a good school, but more so needs to be a relevant school, it needs to contribute to what happens out there. Business schools sort of are living on their little island and train their MBA students to become the future managers, sort of ignoring that there are real societal issues out there where business could and should have a contribution. As an African business school, the GSB is firmly rooted in emerging markets and research is geared towards better understanding this context. Well, being the top business school in Africa is really, really important. We've got an important role to play in the development of, of leaders within the African continent. I think Africa is a really complex and diverse place that is rich in kind of mineral resources, um, but very poor in leadership and management. So the role that we play really is around how do we create leaders who can take the countries and, and the continent further. The wealth of expertise, research and depth of knowledge in these three spheres of influence come together to inform and enrich the school's teaching and learning where we have a real niche is being values driven in a complex, difficult, emerging market. And there, of course, instead of talking about emerging markets in 
England, continental Europe, the US, you better come down here and see what emerging markets are. You live in an emerging market. So your learning is not just what you get in your classroom, your learning is when you walk out the building. The GSB has a raft of programs catering for managers at every level of their journey, including the world-renowned MBA, which is the only full-time African MBA ranked in the top 100 by the Financial Times. The FT has also rated the GSB MBA as one of the best value-for-money MBAs in the world. As a result, the program attracts an increasingly diverse audience with students from across Africa, Europe, the Middle East and America coming to study at the tip of Africa. There's a lot of international people that come through the program here, so it's, it's quite nice for me to interact with that here. Whereas I think if, I, if I'd gone to London or to New York and that, I don't think I would have gotten that, that African way of, of, of doing business and getting the, the African aspect of it. Here at least I get the African aspect and I get the exposure to the, to the European and the American markets, which I don't think I'd have gotten overseas. In my industry, emerging markets is quite an important, important uh, aspect that I needed to look at. So obviously with UCT's focus on emerging markets, it was just a, a no-brainer for me. It's very interesting to do an MBA, uh, not in US or uh, Europe, but here. Um, their opportunity, especially business opportunity, is in this continent. I would definitely recommend the GSB MBA to anyone who wants to fast track their career growth and anyone who wants to sort of take a step back in life. The best way I can describe the MBA is that it's like a playground. There's a little bit of everything. So you get to try different things and in the process you get to learn more about yourself. There's a lot of, of emphasis on personal growth here, you know. Uh, you got uh, courses like leadership and, and professional development and you get to know yourself better. And in order for you to become a leader today, you need to know yourself first. You know your weaknesses, your strengths and all that. And there's a lot of emphasis in this MBA in that. The group we're working with is a very talented bunch of people. Um, quite representative from uh, many parts of the world. Um, also from the African continent as well. Um, so we get quite a varied uh, perspective on things. But uh, generally people really could have work quite well together. Um, I think there's a lot of some very, very talented lecturers who really, it's more sort of an art as opposed to just churning out the, uh, the coursework. I think it's been a great year so far and I've learned a lot and I know I've developed as a person and just made me feel more that I can actually contribute something to the economy and to the society basically. So I definitely think I can go out there with my MBA and really make a difference. Because it was such a, it was completely different from what I had studied in the past, occupational therapy, it was a major mind shift for me. It gave me language that I and vocab that I didn't have previously and it just made me more co confident to play in a different space. In addition to the MBA, the school offers a variety of study options including at Masters and PhD level, an Executive MBA, an Associate in Management and a Postgraduate Diploma in Business Administration as well as customized programs for corporates and organizations, plus a full suite of executive education short courses. We don't sort of sit in that ivory tower here at, at the business school and, and not engage with the communities. We work with the community within which we find ourselves. Where we work with executive education, where you've got people who are currently in employment, coming for kind of continuous professional development, there we ask them to bring their working context into the classroom and then they'll be giving an action learning project so they go when they go back into work they can actually apply what they've learned in the workplace. The spirit of this remarkable business school is captured by its situation alongside Africa's premier tourist destination in the renovated breakwater prison that used to house political prisoners in the colonial era. It's a lot of fun because you sort of get yourself locked away. Uh, you get on with what you need to get done. Um, it's got a bit of character, a bit of history to it as well. So we still haven't seen the ghosts. Um, but also, I guess most of us work quite late evenings. So yeah, we, a lot of coffee always helps. Uh, but no, thoroughly enjoyed it. Historical value and the setting's amazing. I mean, the mountain outside, the waterfront in front of us, absolutely stunning. So can't complain. The transformation of the site from prison into one of the world's leading business schools is an elegant metaphor for the energy and hope that is South Africa. It's beautiful and I think especially for the international students that are here, you know, it gives them a chance to see a really, really 
gorgeous part of the world. And the transformation continues. Since the financial crisis, the way that business is conducted has changed and business schools have a hugely important part to play in defining new paths for sustainable success. It is a role that the UCT Graduate School of Business is embracing. The goal? To make a difference in business and society on the continent and beyond through a values-based, sustainable approach. This is the richest continent. It unfortunately still has the poorest people, but it is the richest continent. Now, it is the role of a business school to help contribute to that economic development. We don't train people to make a happy few rich people. We train people to take a responsibility to be leaders and to use business, which per se is neutral, for the good. South Africa in itself is quite a complex place. I mean, there's great degrees of poverty and poor health. And then there's on the other extreme, great wealth. Yes, we've got the international accreditation and that's very important, but we're more than that. We're, we're a values-driven school.